Hi, my name is Josh. I am the co-owner of Genesis Exotics. You can visit us on the web at www.genesisexotics.com. And today I'm going to explain to all of you on how to properly test your frogs for the chytrid fungus and the ranavirus using the kits that we proudly sell at genesisexotics.com. As you can see here, I have the layout of the kit. I have a sterile culturette, a sterile tube, your, your form to research associates laboratory in Dallas, Texas, which we have found to be the most efficient and reliable source for testing your frogs for ranavirus and chytrid. If you are unfamiliar with the chytrid fungus, it is a fungus that is wiping out amphibians all over the world. Not only is it spreading rapidly to many different biotypes where amphibians reside, it is also spreading to our other amphibian counterparts such as salamanders and we have been unable to find an answer for it in our wild populations. Unfortunately, chytrid is found in many captive populations. However, since not everybody tests, many frogs can be asymptomatic for chytrid and or rana and unknowingly spread it to other frogs in your collection with a, something as a simple fruit fly from getting into your tank, getting out of the tank and going into the tank next to it, infecting the inhabitants inside. It can wipe out an entire collection within 48 hours and is very unfortunate and all of it can be presented, uh, prevented with a couple different steps. First of the steps is being quarantining your amphibians, which if you're unsure how to do that, please see our video on how to properly quarantine your amphibians. Starting with our kit, the first step is take your sterile culturette and open it up. Now you want to make sure when you open it up, you keep it sterile. So you want to peel it open like this. And what I do is I take, I grab onto the blue tip here. And I pull it out. Now you want to make sure that you don't ruin the sterile field here. Okay? You take the swab, and you swab it all over the animal which you're testing. Which in this case, this is one of our dumpy tree frogs, whom has already been tested for the chytrid and ranavirus. You want to make sure you get underneath the legs, in between the legs, under every crevice. For smaller frogs, such as Ufaga and Ranatomia, this can be more difficult of a task, so do the best that you can. After you get an adequate sample, you grab your sterile tube and you open it up. Simply take the sterile swab and put it inside, right like that. From there, I pull it up with my fingers at the base at the top, and stop it like this. So when I'm holding it, I then take some scissors and cut it underneath from where I was holding. This helps keep the inside of this as clean and sterile as possible. Now I know this, the scissors are not sterile, but we do the best that we can. Put on the lid, you label it with whatever species or name. So this will be dumpy, female, number one. You then fill out your form to the Research Associates Laboratory. You can send them a check or card. It is $18 per test and is highly recommended to do both chytrid and rana while sending it out. As you can see here, the chytrid fungus is, the, is highlighted here and ranavirus is highlighted here. These are the two tests that you would like to do. There is a second chytrid fungus listed underneath that is meant for salamanders. If you are testing salamanders, this is the chytrid strain that you want to test for, not the B. dendrobatus. Again, we are very proud to offer these kits on our website at www.genesisexotics.com. And of course, every single frog here in our collection, every single frog has been tested for rana and chytrid and goes through a vigorous quarantine process before we even consider breeding or even consider making them available to you. Again, thank you very much and please visit our website at genesisexotics.com.